Hello, Internet. So that's Tyga. Tyga is a rescue that we brought home. Uh, his options were cancer dog, plus nine years old, going back to the rescue unadopted. That's a death sentence. So we're fostering another dog who's crashing around behind me down here. You want to be in the video? Come here. Come up, dog. Come up, dog. Taiga is just another in a long line of rescue dogs we've been collecting throughout the years. First there was Bernie, who was a runt on his way out. We went and picked him up as a puppy and raised him up to a little teenage dog and found a lovely family with an autistic boy who made him his best friend. And there was Lola, the pretty pity. And, uh, well... You know, she's got a boyfriend now. We went and rehomed her to another place, and now we have Tyga. And, well, he may, be, he may be a bit of an asshole, but I still love him because I guess I'm a bit of an asshole, and people love me for some reason. So, anyways, he's muzzled because he's a bit dog-reactive. Something we learned in bringing a dog home that hasn't been here before. We're making the most out of the tough situation that we are in with him. There was just something about the generosity of bringing him home that reminded me of those random acts of kindness that get me through my day and that should get everyone through their day. And it made me think of one of the people who is one of the most kindest people I know. So, Hey, beautiful. Hi. So I got a question for you. You know why I love you? Why? You're one of the most generous people that I know. And you told me a story one time about where your generosity comes from. So I wanted you to record it because, well, I tried to talk about random acts of kindness and did my best. But you are the queen of random acts of kindness. So, but yeah, you said you wrote this for a school project. And I overheard it. I wasn't supposed to be listening because you were in class. But I was lucky enough to hear it. And it really made my day because it reminded me about all the random acts of kindness that you've always done and so i have pink otter things which is my once was a business and now then it became a hobby with a name and then now it's probably going to be a business again if you receive something from me you know that i strive to be the change you want to see in the world i like to sew and I like to share my talent with those I know. I make, a, I make a bunch of different kinds of bags, blankets, and other practical items for use around the home or for fun. Well, that's not the only thing you make. You make all kinds of great things. <laughs> you make masks. You I make, make bags. Masks. You make shields. I don't know. You make all kinds of cool stuff. You made my backdrop. Cut to the backdrop. Uga chaka, uga 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 chaka, uga 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 chaka, uga 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 chaka, uga uga. Yeah. Okay, there you go. There's the backdrop. There you go. And yeah. I never ask for any money. I never. I almost never charge to for my crafts because I feel like brightening up someone's day is worth a lot more. So she, like me, and every other struggling artist you may know, is trying to make the best out of this COVID situation, trying to work whatever jobs are available to us, and trying to make a living off the art that we create. So, you know, do what you can. Well, if people have wealth to share with you, how do they share it? They buy my creations. And I where can they buy? Crafts. And where can they buy your crafts? Contact me directly. DM me. Okay. We're going to set something up and figure it out. Thanks for watching.